Oh yeah, baby, this is a full-on heist now. Are you doing the music in your head? I'm doing the music in my head. D and D minus. As you ascend to the second floor in your servant's disguises, you see three doors right in front of you. To your left and right are wooden doors flanked by two Zaphods each. And straight ahead, an open and unguarded passageway leads to what looks like a library. I will also tell you this. You are now in what I, your dungeon master, am going to call an area of suspicion. So I have a new mechanic I'm going to add to our game called... The Suspicio-Meter. Oh, no. We're never going to get through this. There are 10 notches on the Suspicio-Meter. The higher it gets, the more suspicious the people who see you will be. Things like loud noises or odd behavior will raise the Suspicio-Meter. If it reaches 10, the guards of this castle will automatically descend on you and capture you. Collectively, we have only suspicious behaviors. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Is there like a cool down? Like, can we hide and it cools down a few notches or not? Yes, you can hide and it'll cool down. Oh, so this is Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Or any, any video game. We could just find a barrel and all like hide yeah, in it. You fall yeah. into a <laughs> pile of hay. And exactly. And just start looking at another. But we have to do your hiding live. So we'll have to kill time. Like you guys will have to make com- amusing conversation <laughs> <laughs> in the barrel. <laughs> and it's 45 <laughs> minutes per notch. So, you know. Uh, oh my God. Get ready to, yeah, I want some deep, you know, character on character conversation. Really work through your stuff as a team. This oh no. Where's my copy of Who Touched My Cheese? It's Who Moved My Cheese. <laughs> who Touched My Cheese is a very different Thank you book. so much, Noah. That was really bothering me. <laughs> who Touched My Cheese is honestly the business book we really needed in the 90s and didn't get. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Wow. All right. So where do you go? What do you do? Is there any bedroom, Lord bedroom looking doors off of this? Or are we in the bedroom already? Three doors in front of you. Left and right are wooden doors. Flanked by two guards each. Straight ahead. Open passageway. Looks like a library. Meters at one. Meters at zero. Zero. And if we just stand here, that will probably raise. Will probably right. well, no, you're, there's no timing based on your conversation with each other. No, we're not doing a real time action game. The guards are like, "Are you discussing a suspicious meter?" That's pretty <laughs> sus. We're at three now. Are gods who control all your actions having a conversation right now? Should we go in and clean one of these rooms? I think we say not a word, and we're just like, "Yeah." Maybe just, you know, in passing, uh, we're just going in to clean the room and we go to the one to the left. I feel like we just like say to each other, like, hey, you remember that last time we had to clean this room and it was come all over or whatever, you know, just like we're, you know, even even acknowledging them, I think is probably. Let's try less talk. All right. I'm with that, too. Maybe just like rubble, 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 rubble. Right. Yes. Rubble, rubble, (laughs) rubble would be fine. Okay, so you guys are going to go past the guards, rabble, rabble, rabbling. Oh, just just. Say, go in about cleaning. We're going to go to the to the door on the right, right? Because that's what you do when you enter a thing. You go to the right. Sure. Sure. Let me roll for the guards here. A little perception check. That is a two. Nice. <laughs> All right. So we can get, we can go ahead and discuss the suspiciometer. Yeah, there's, well, one guard at the very least, you could be like, we're breaking in here to see if we can find <laughs> yeah. the fucking sunstone. <laughs> and the other one rolled a six. So yeah, you are fine. They're, they... Barely notice you as you pass on in and Solid. are greeted by what is very obviously Lord Cress's study. Shit. This is made obvious by the giant portrait of the young lord of the castle that hangs over the fireplace. Most of the room is dedicated to what seems to be Lord Cress's primary interest, fencing. There are foils and rapiers and swords of all kinds hung on the walls, stuck into the walls and targets, including a decidedly dragonborn-shaped dummy 
that seems to have received the brunt of his ire. Heh, <laughs> however, it's you. The weirdest object is in the center of the room and appears to be a giant mirror covered in a drape of some kind. How do we know it's a mirror? Because you can see like a little bit of mirror poking out under the drape. Okay, all right. No, good, good save. Good save. Okay, well, this isn't the bedroom. Shall we move on or look around? I feel like we have to clean it first, right? Like so that... Oh, right. I'm going to roll for cleaning the room. All right. I think we could just tell the guards to clean it. They don't care. We could just... No, no, we're not going to tell the guards to clean because they're fucking guards. It's a six. I'm not going to clean it very well. Okay. I, I say we stay in here for as long as it might take to clean a room, and then we go out. I mean, we might as well just clean the room while we're we in We might as well just clean it. Just just like, to, yeah. That way we would know how long it took. All right. I'm going to snoop around and see if there's anything that might go unnoticed and for me to steal. Wait, we're, we're unarmed at this point, right? You're unarmed. A few of you have brought occasional things with you. Like, you brought the Wand of Seven Parts. Mm -hmm. I left my shield. But you left your, like, Bridget left her shield, yeah. It brought down my AC, everybody. It did, yeah. I feel like maybe we could sneak away with one of these swords, right? I but won't that be just suspicious when we leave the room? Also, they have big corks on the end. Depends on where we put it. <laughs> I, no, that's fair. We'd that's probably fair. have to roll again if we took a sword out. Would it be perception or investigate for finding booty? Investigate, for sure. I'm going to say, I'm going to mm, roll this investigate. Ooh, ooh. Shit. Ooh. Should we check the mirror? I feel like no, but yeah, let's because it would be like I it, just it, investigated, guys. <laughs> it would be you investigated the shit out of this room. You sure did. I did. But I feel like it would be mean to Eli for us to just be like, well, that mirror means is is, is no, you know, friend of ours, and mm -hmm. then just leave. Does it say Eris said over it? <laughs> right. I'll tell you what, with that 17, Bridget, you can actually see the hem of a familiar demonic robe peeking out from under the cloth. <gasps> Wait, in the mirror? In the mirror. That's not on this side. Not on this side. So it's not a mirror. Familiar. You said familiar demonic robe. Mm-hmm. Is it Carl the Pug of Pegacorn's robe? No, as in, as in Murlocs? No, probably. Did he use the mirror to get here from... The claw place, the claw land, the flying. Yeah, but there was no way dem demonic there, was there? I don't remember. Whose study are we in? We're in the, the We're princess. In Carl the Pug of Pegacorn is a, is a demon. He was there. Well, you said it looks familiar. Why does it look familiar? Mm, you have to find out. Oh, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I will investigate her familiarity. With her, her, <laughs> her memory. <laughs> Could it be Gladys? Is Gladys a demon? Oh. But it would be familiar to me, and I've never seen Gladys, have I? Gladys, are you in that mirror? <laughs> you have Dave. to tell us. Dave, are you out there? Dave, what? is that you? Dave, take the cover off. Take the what? Take the cover right. off. I'm, ta I'm taking the cover <laughs> off. What, what are you saying? You throw back the cover and see, not your reflection, but Gladys, Dave's patron. Gladys, what up? Damn it, Dave, what are you doing here? And what the hell did you do to yourself? Why are you dressed like a servant? I, we're, we snuck past some people. I did that for the purpose of sneaking. Uh, we're, we're looking for the bedroom of the, the squiggly guy. We're trying to find the sunstone. Mm, I see. Well, what are you doing here? This is Lord Darkmore's office. Lord Darkmore would make his decisions in here with me, advising him and, you know, occasionally leading everyone in some light but enjoyable theater games. You know, zip, zop, zop, stuff like that. But of course, wait, what's... Zip, zop, zop. <laughs> you know the theater game where it's like that zip. That doesn't get a point, zap. Dave. That absolutely gets a point. We're not sponsored by Zip, zap, zop. <laughs> Add Monomino Brewery to it. What do you do with that one? Right. But Lord Cress <laughs> made new arrangements. He has a new patron now. And he hasn't seen any use for my advice, so he covered up my mirror. Mm. But I've still been in the mirror because I made a devil's bargain with the Darkmoor family to be in here to advise them, but I, I gotta tell you, you gotta be careful, kid. They've moved things around and done some construction since I was on charge, and what on the street is Lord Cress, the young one? He's got a new fiend giving out powers. And Dave, remember my orders. If that's true, I want you to find out who it is and put an end to it. Okay, he has a new fiend. Well, who's the old fiend? Me. You? Oh, you were the fiend who gave out the powers. Yep. Not you now. Not me anymore. Okay. It's like you don't recollect what's happening hour to hour, Dave. 
You, I feel like you should do, set up like some sort of shared document. He's still figuring out who his mom <laughs> is, y'all. Gladys, you might be able to know something about this. Do you know anything about a tower that connects to the Lord's bedroom? Oh, yeah, because he's got one of my mirrors up there. It's uh, through his bedroom next door. Hey, we can't walk through this mirror to get there somehow, can we? No, that's my magic. I just show up I in would, the mirror. It's I'd just, just, it's just like, a normal mirror. It's yeah. worth asking. Damn. Are you also somewhere else and in the mirror? That would also be a really cool like secret if you had put that in. Do you think she's actually in the mirror right now? I'm in hell right now. Chilling. Oh, you, you're in hell. Hell. Eternal damnation. Also, you can appear in the mirror. She's just Skyping you through the mirror. Yeah. Fantasy. This is like Skype. It's like she's having a special time where you each see each other's faces. Mm hmm. Yeah. One might call it a FaceTime. Love it. Got it. Fantasy FaceTime. I don't use Apple products. That's dumb. You're dumb. <laughs> you are. I love apples. You don't eat apples? apples? Why wouldn't you eat apples? apples They're delicious. delicious. <laughs> Cider? Are you kidding me? Apple pie? Apple pie is the best. Apple crumble? Okay, okay. There are apple. That's not. Candied <laughs> apple? I feel like we all knew what I meant. Caramel apples? So we go, yep. Got it. I, I feel like that's about how long it takes to clean a room. Apple jacks are good, actually. I do like the cereal. Aye, they're great. Yeah. Let's go to the other one, the other room. All obviously. right. Good to see you. You guys don't have any other questions for me while you're here? Uh, <laughs> I feel like oh, you wanted uh, us to ask you what, what, just tell us everything you know that's useful. <laughs> you're just pushing the X button on Gladys <laughs> over and over again oh, until she starts to repeat herself and you know you can leave. <laughs> what do you think might be guarding the, the tower or where do you think in the tower he might keep a sunstone? Hmm. Let me see. Well, if I know Lord Cress, he'll have made use of his secret bookcase up there. Oh. Do you know anything about the fiend? That's the one thing I don't know, kid. Dang it. It's all real hush-hush down here in hell, but everyone tells me it's an old fiend and a dangerous one. And someone who's willing to cross me because, you know, taking over my clients, I, I kind of take that kind of thing personal. Do fiends in general have weaknesses or no? I mean, it depends on the fiend. Generally, we try to, you okay. know. Yeah, gotcha. But yes, we all have weaknesses. Mine is Broadway. <laughs> mm. How does the secret uh, bookcase work? What, what is that? I Oh, he's got a, a secret bookcase up there. He used uh, some of the magic I gave him to build it. But that, of course, was before our little incident. So, you know. What makes it secret? You'll have to check it out when you get up there. It's a, it's a bookcase. Cool. It uses like a password or something. What's the password? I don't know the password. I just He just used my magic. I didn't actually make the bookcase for him. All right. If I knew the password, I'd be like, oh, the password is, is bumpkins. I'm going to look for, I'm going to investigate to look for clues for what a password might be. Sure. Or in this room. Hey, make an investigation check for me. I feel I like. I think we all do that. Yeah, why don't we all do that? Because I got a fucking seven. Yeah. I have a plus six on investigation, so, but I got a five, so. hey -o! Nice. Fuck yeah. 19. I rolled a five, so yeah. yeah, Claw's got us. All right, Claw, you find a piece of paper <gasps> that says, don't forget the password. Oh, go fuck yourself, God. No, go fuck <laughs> yourself. Okay, I got a nat 20 on investigation, plus two. You check the back of that paper, and it says, you'll find the clue to the password upstairs. My genius natural investigation mm -hmm. was look at the other side of the paper. Yep, was to look at the other side of the paper. That's what you did. <laughs> We're fucked Look. as a crew. <laughs> if a nat 20 only got you to turn a piece of paper over. Look, sometimes there's nothing there to investigate. What can I tell you? All right. So this is a study, correct? This is a study. Bedrooms next door. As Gladys just told you that. Can I, I'm assuming there's like a writing utensil around. Can I steal that? Absolutely. Quill from the table. Yeah. What would I roll? You don't have to roll anything. You just take it. So you need some ink? You have to put ink into that. Um, I, th I feel like I should, though. Go ahead. Roll something. Just in case, if it's low enough. It'll be funnier if I fail. Yeah. 12. 12. Yeah, you just take the pen. Cool. Great. Good for all of us. Does he take ink as well? Because a quill is, by itself is not particularly... I, but he's a bird, so he's kind of taking it back for his people. That's okay, true. I was going to yeah. say that. You ruined it for me. <laughs> okay, if he rolls for ink right now and gets a one, it just gets in his eye and he can't write anything down. <laughs> he drops it or whatever, yeah. Claws officially, canonically in blackface for the rest of the show. Oh, God! <laughs> I was going to get all indignant about stealing the quill and then Anna beat me to it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> but I am going to add it to the inventory. Okay, we can go. You want to go? Okay. I'd like to go. 
What did you physically do when you added it to your <laughs> just now? I typed it in my notes. Okay. You have notes? Yeah. Yeah. We all have notes. What? Yeah, that's why he knows who his mom is. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you guys keep track of your mom. <laughs> that's weird. All right. Let me roll for the guards on the way into the bedroom. I won't make you roll for the guards on the way out. All right. That mechanic turned out not to matter. <laughs> Just, I was like, ooh, I'll put guards here. And like, what will they do to get past them? They won't do shit because the guards will be like, they <laughs> roll. <laughs> I'm going to chew on the door frame is what the guards are saying. You enter the bedroom of the young Lord Cress. Most of the room is taken up by a giant four-poster bed. On the far side of the room, there's a crackling fire and there's a desk by the wall. As you wander around the room searching, you notice a suspiciously blank section of wall with a tapestry in front of it. When you pull that tapestry aside, you see in golden letters on the brick behind it, the words, when you say my name, I am gone. My name. Silence. Yeah. The stone doorway parts and you see a long <laughs> stairway leading up into a spiral up ahead of you. Was the person's name my name or was it silence? I'm just curious. It was silence. It was silence. Nice. It don't fuck. Is there another quill on the desk? Uh, there's... Yes. <laughs> cool. Gonna steal that quill. Roll for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna investigate for any, I don't know... 16. Yeah, you steal it. Pots that might have a rupee in them or some shit. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, you find seven gold pieces. Fuck yes. In the desk drawer. No potions, though, I guess. And a potion. Oh, I yep. got a potion, everybody. Yeah, it's, it's the magical fantasy version of the flu shot. Oh, I love it. Yeah, Crest <laughs> doesn't get it. He sucks. <laughs> That's only good now. <laughs> Not in the future. All right. Are you going up the stairs? Sure. Should we investigate the room at all or no? Uh, Anna just did. She found seven gold pieces. I did. That was okay. the flu shot. This is pretty much already looted. I got, and I'm, I'm adding this potion of healing to my to my equipment. Yeah, we can go up. This is going to be like a 20 minute episode. Yeah. <laughs> the stone doorway parts and you head up the Never stairs. Never say that. Never say that before it's <laughs> over, Claw. You jinxed it all. The stone doorway parts and you head up the stairs for a long, long time. In fact, you walk for way more time is reasonable. Claw, you feel your silence and darkness spells wear off and you still see no sight of the top. Eventually, you all stop out of sheer exhaustion and find yourself in an oddly familiar section of stair with sight neither of the top nor of the bottom. I feel like we're in the hallway from Mario 64. <laughs> Right, where we just keep walking towards it and we'll never get there. Do you mean we have to glitch through the wall or roll backwards all the way <laughs> yeah, up you, there? If you all turn around backwards and press A with the right timing, you'll like do a weird <laughs> hop through the front of the ceiling. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's the way to do it. All right. Well, investigate, I guess. All again. right. You've been killing it at that. I have, but I got minus one on it. So, you know. Well, fuck me. All right. An 18. With an 18, Bridget, you feel like there's something magical going on, but you don't know what kind of magic or what's happening. Well, I have to spell magic, so I might be able to pass that. Wait, wait. Before you, before you waste the spell slot, I'm going to do an Arcana check. Mm -hmm. I have a plus six on Arcana. Let's both do it. I have a plus four. Okay. I got a 21. You beat me. I got a 13. All right. With a 21, you can tell that this particular section of stair is under some kind of illusion magic, Snedrick. I already knew that going in. I just I just <laughs> said it with the Mario thing. Was... I did a 17 investigation. <laughs> yeah, no, you did good too. You were we were we were invest <laughs> we're investigating the fuck out of this. We should do What did I what did I find? Like a detective story next time. Did I look at the other side of the stairway? <laughs> we did. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You you know one point less of information than Bridget did. <laughs> What's to spell magic? Is it a how high a level spell is it? I'm looking it up right now. I feel like so here's the thing. If we just keep walking up this stair long enough, eventually Eli has to let us get to the top for the show to work. <laughs> Choose one creature, object, or magical effect within range, any spell of third level or lower on the target ends. 
For each spell of fourth level or higher on the target, make an ability check choosing your spellcasting ability. The DC equals 10 plus the spell's level. Okay. On a successful check, the spell ends. So wait, if I go up... To, here, Here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up the stairs for a little bit and see if I come back around to these guys. Mm-hmm. All right. So, Snedrick, you start to head up the stairs, but with everyone no longer walking with you, you notice that as Snedrick is walking, he's just staying in place. He's not actually moving it. Oh. Are we a side-scroller? An up-scroller? <laughs> <gasps> I'm going to focus on the stairs. No stairway denied. <laughs> Wayne's world. And dispel magic. Classic. All right. You dispel magic and you find that you are on a sort of section of the stair that's been mechanically created as a kind of stairmaster under each of your weights. So when you've been walking up, even though it has been looking like you've been going up the stairs, you've actually just been going on sort of a treadmill thing this entire time. Oh, where does it end? A couple feet ahead of you. A couple feet ahead of you. Could, could I hop that distance? Uh, yes, easily. I am going to hop that distance. Fantastic. You hop up. All right, everybody come over here. I jump acrobatically with a nine. Oh, yeah. You stub mm -hmm. your toe a little bit on the way. <laughs> <laughs> I, let's see if I managed to do a backflip and shit myself on this one. I <laughs> mm -hmm. jump very dramatically with it. Also, and I stub my toe as well. Stub toes. <laughs> yeah, a lot of stub toes at the top of this thing. They, also, a tiny little shark comes out. Yeah, just a teeny, <laughs> tiny little shark. <laughs> one of the ones that you don't have to tell everyone about, but like next time you pass a bathroom, you're going to use it. Yeah, uh, nice. a, a little, a little wolf comes out too. <laughs> <laughs> a Shih Tzu. <laughs> all right. You all emerge from the stairs into the astronomy tower of the castle. Many, many floors above the one you left. The room is small, but it has a powerful telescope along with rune charts and star maps for studying. There is also an odd sort of dusty space in the corner against the wall where you imagine a bookcase might have been. On the desk near the telescope lies a journal. On its face, someone has scratched a large heart with the letters MG plus NC. MG plus NC. Murloc gnomes. Murloc gnomes plus... Plus my sister. Oh, right, right, right. What was her name? Something clocksucker? No. I don't know. Check your notes right. of your family that you keep. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking weirdos. <laughs> I have notes about everything except my family. <laughs> all right. Well, who's going to read the journal? All right. Well, first of all, is it day or night out? Night. I'm going to check out the telescope for a little bit while you nice, guys are yeah. fucking around. Wow. It took us a long time to get up here. Do you guys remember yeah, that we woke up morning morning. it was first thing in the morning when we went in. Yeah. Snedrick, you look through and you see the firmament and the seven heavens, which are technically canonically a part of D&D. &D, and you're like, ah, it's fucking bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I do, though. You, st you see the weird impossible ceiling that covers the earth, making all physics impossible. <laughs> Checkmate atheist, Snedrick. <laughs> Face. So while Snedrick is doing that, one of you reads the latest entry in the diary, and it says, Dear Diary. I like that the diary has the voice. It has yeah. the voice, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, it's, but it's Murloc Gnome's diary. Yeah. Right. No, no, exactly. It's like the voiceover. <laughs> it says, You know what really pisses me off? That scene in a book or a movie where someone opens a diary and they read, like, just exactly what is perfectly relevant to them? Like, what, nobody's ever jotted down a recipe or a shopping list in a journal? Maybe they're thinking about other things. Anyways, I'm not sure why I'm pointing that out. I just thought I would. Anyways, got to Castle Darkmoor, safe with the Sunstone, and I've hidden it in Lord Cress's secret bookshelf nearest the fire in the library downstairs. I figure with the security system Lord Cress is installed down in the library, that's where it's the safest. The Queen is not pleased at my failure to kill Clocksucker and his companions, but if I can destroy the Sunstone, she'll be unstoppable. Fortunately, it appears that Lord Cress's goals and my own appear to work together, in that his new patron may be powerful enough to destroy this magical object. Between you and I, Diary, I think Lord Cress is overconfident in his connection to his new patron. He believes them to be linked due to his race. But believe me, Diary, there is a long way between a dragonborn and a dragon. Oh, shit, we're gonna meet a dragon! It's Dungeons and what? 
Dungeons and what? <laughs> Dungeons and Dave? I am a dragon, thank you. <laughs> no, no, your dragonborn is not the same. No, it's a, I feel like it's the same. Haggers. Denying my ethnicity. Hey everybody, just hopping in real quick to thank you once again for listening to the show. I'm sorry this episode is a week later. Usually you get it the very first Wednesday of the month, but it fell on the first this year, which means a bunch of you wouldn't pay us. And that that is sadder than getting the episode a week late, I assure you. I assure you on behalf of my baby's preschool, it is sadder than missing out on the show by a week. We are loving doing this show. Thank you so much for all the feedback. And hey, speaking of feedback, why don't you head on over to wherever you get your podcasts and give us one of those five-star reviews I've heard so much about. Every time you write one, I get a little message to my inbox, so that makes me feel nice. But you're also helping new people find out about the show, and you're helping the show grow. And hey, the show has grown from just, you know, a few of you who listen to our other shows to sort of its own listenership. And it's it's this thing Thing now, which exists, and it makes us really proud and happy that you all enjoy it as much as we enjoy making it. And hey, if you don't just like us, you really love us, why not head over to patreon.com forward slash dnd minus, all spelled out. You'll get access to bonus episodes, behind the scenes, dungeon masters corners, and some stuff that's been long promised in the coming uh, should be arriving in the next couple of months or so. So yeah, never been a better time to pledge to the show. And hey, if you give us money already, you aren't hearing this, which is another reason to pledge is you don't have this middle commercial part. So there you go. All right, I'll let you get back to the episode. We'll see you next month. All right, well, let's go down the stairs. I wonder if it turns into a slide on the way down. Yeah, we got to go all the way back down to the library, right? That would be fun, wouldn't it? Should we clean this room up while we're here, though? Well, we should definitely check it out. Do you want to steal a pen or something? Uh, All right. Uh, Investigate the fuck out of this room. I'm going to investigate and see if I can find some fucking gold here. All right, roll that investigation check. Well, my... (laughs) (laughs) I got a 17. 14. I think it has walls. (laughs) Bridget, as you're checking, you knock over like a a little glass pot and there's a smashing noise and there are now two points on the suspicion meter. Oh, fuck you. Nobody up here can, can, they can't hear that all the way down there. Oh, they can hear it. Nah, that's bullshit. Acoustics here are (laughs) phenomenal. Inverse square loss, Delta. Nobody else finds anything. I I fucking rolled a 17. I don't get shit. I don't even find a few gold pieces. All right, fine. Fine. But you cleaned very well while you did it. It's fucking racist. All right. <laughs> Wait, is there a quill that he used to write in the diary? No, no quills up here. <gasps> Too bad. All right, here we go. He's got an octopus for a face. I bet he has ink of his own. Oh, yeah, that's possible. a good point. Yep. As you head towards the library, one of the Zaphods outside of one of the nearby doors stops you and says, hey, 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 none of you says a pet mouse, do you? Nay. I do not. Do you guys do any of you guys have a pet mouse? Nope. No pet mouses. Yeah, well, so it's good to hear because I don't know if you guys know Frederick, but Freddie kept a mouse in his pocket while he did his chores, not knowing that the guards in the library disintegrate anything, and I do mean anything, that doesn't belong there. So just be careful, huh? I'd hate to be the bastard trying to sneak a peek at a nudie mag after hours, if you know what I mean. What why would you go to the library to look at porn? You guys don't go to the library to look at porn? I, I will now. Usually? I'm just saying I didn't know. No, okay. <laughs> no, yeah, you can find a lot of porn at the library. Right. I don't think that's true. Nope. There's a whole section. Oh my. <laughs> All right. Well, is there a librarian in there? Not that you can see from the outside. Okay. Everybody touch your pockets. Make sure you ain't got shit on you. I mean, we don't belong in there, so I you think it'll bust us? Might have to drop those quills too. <laughs> They'll just turn it like burn up. Yeah, that's true. Okay, no, leave them in then. That's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, well. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Should we cast Pass Without a Trace before we go? Right here in front of the guards? That might affect the suspicion meter. I thought we were still like up on the stairs. Didn't we meet that guy on the stairs? No, he stops you before you go into the library. Oh, okay. We're just going to walk back up a little bit up the stairs for a second. Just uh, <laughs> I just want to check something. All right, I'm going to roll a perception check then. Plus two. Ooh, that's an 18. As you go back (laughs) up the stairs for a second, 
The guard you were just talking to stops you and he goes, hey. And he points at you, Dave, and he goes, remind me of your name again. It's uh, Dan. Dan? Dan? Dan what? Yul. Dan Yul. Yep. Like that's your first name or your name is Dan Yul? It's with Dan Yul. Make a persuasion check for me. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm going to cast Pass Without a Trace while... Wait, nope. no, nope. I'm not. no, 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 you're not. God damn it. We told you to un-disactivate your rolling dice, Steve. <laughs> Every time oh, now. God. I'll roll a physical die if you I want. I thought he was pouting. I forgot, I forgot about that. <laughs> no, he has the... He won't turn the digital... 22, <gasps> motherfucker. Oh, 22. Shit. Oh, he's like, of course, Daniel. Head on up the stairs. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you were used to call me Danny You, Of course, yeah. yes. Right? Up. Oh. So, yeah, we're just going to go up a little bit for a second. <laughs> All right, head on up those stairs. <sighs> pass without a trace. Come on. Pass without a trace. Cast it. All right. Pass without a trace is cast. Going to get plus 10 to those stealth rules, and you can't be tracked by non-magical means. Ugh. Now you going back through to the library? Yes. yes. All right. So, you step through the door. And despite the guard's warning, the library looks relatively normal. There are tall shelves with decorative stone gargoyles of beholders at their tops. In the center of the room, a large cozy fire is along one wall. And in front of it is a large table with several chairs arranged around it. Is there a bookshelf near the fireplace? Yes, there is. Okay, so we should check that then. I think we should go straight there. I'm going to investigate the room and look for password information, and I just got a 26 on that investigation. Oh, fuck yeah! All right, so with a 26, you notice something odd, Snedrick. See, usually when one places gargoyles on a structure, it's on the outside, but these gargoyles are indoor gargoyles. Further, the gargoyles of beholders all seem to be looking at different throw crossways direction. So there's a center. Yeah. Oh, so we should go around probably. Are we going to do like a like an entrapment laser thing like Catherine Zeta-Jones? Is that what's I... being described here? Well, we have good stealth checks. It's going to be so sexy. I start doing that just to be sure. <laughs> <laughs> Remember we have Pass Without a Trace on us right now. Yeah, you get like plus 10 or something. <laughs> well, right now there's nothing to see. Catherine Zane and Jones could see the lasers. No, she couldn't. Not no, at the, she not couldn't when they were, see them. She, she could see the yarn. Right, but she yeah. memorized the lasers. Yes. You yes. have not memorized any lasers. Wait, are you saying that a cloud of smoke might be useful right now? <gasps> that is correct. <gasps> oh my God, I am going to cast mess. After you do the cloud of smoke, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll for stealth. Fog cloud, are you ready? And I'm going to nat 20 the stealth, motherfucker. That's plus 10. That's a 30. I hadn't even cast it yet. And I have cast Fog Cloud. All right, Dave, we'll resolve your incredible natural 20 in a second. I keep, I'm rolling crazy good right now. <laughs> <laughs> you are. <it's> true. <laughs> Bridget, read that spell description. You create a 20 foot radius sphere of fog centered on a point within range. I'm going to choose the center of the room or like enough so it won't bleed into the wall behind. Feels like that's pretty much the whole room. Yeah. The sphere spreads around corners and its area is heavily obscured. It lasts for the duration or until, which is, by the way, up to one hour with concentration. So I can stop it whenever I stop concentrating on it. Got it. It lasts during for the duration or until wind of moderate or greater speed, at least 10 miles per hour, disperses it. That's pretty, pretty big wind for indoor. Bridget? Your fog does the trick, and you are all able to see invisible beams that the magic nice, users it is like that. Yes. recognize as disintegration beams that crisscross <sighs> the hallways of this library. Fuck yes. It'll be a tight squeeze, but with the right dexterity, someone could squeeze through the beams. And the way that you know that is that Dave begins to capoeira dance the most <laughs> beautiful... <gasps> Capoeira dance, almost unknowingly, and for no reason known to... He had started the dance, by the way, before you cast Fog. <laughs> but for some reason, he... And you had no idea. He dances perfectly between all of these beams and ends up right in the center of the room where it is safe. Like Baron Francois Toulouse in Ocean's 12, right, guys? Exactly. Right? No. Vincent Fantasy Cassell. Fantasy Ocean's 12. I imagine the camera shot is like us standing there watching Dave... Flit left and right, like magically. Exactly. And we're just yeah. 
Like, wow, like golf clapping. <laughs> Angelo, take notes for the graphic novel, please. That is the sexiest thing you've ever done, Dave. Right? Nice. Right? Nice. Banana way. Dave. Banana. Now that you're at the center of the room. Only the strong. It's another movie. You see two things. The first is a large magic rune hidden from the outside view with a sign above it that says, Warning, disintegration matrix may be active. You also see a small bookcase that looks rather out of place to the right of the fire. All right. So am I next to that bookcase now? Uh, you're next to the rune and the bookcase. Yeah. Yeah. So you could probably turn off the, the rune. disintegration matrix. Okay. So perfect. Can I do that? Yep. You deactivate and everyone in the, in the fog watches the disintegration rays turn off. And I dispel my concentration. Yep. And the fog is gone. All right. People are going to hate this episode. We're just like... We're, we're doing so good right now. <laughs> just literally roll 20s for... <laughs> I've rolled two okay. fucking spells. I've used two of my spell slots. This is going to be great. All right. All right. Can we roll for winning the entire quest right now? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Dave, do it. Roll for winning go, the entire all quest in. all right, so right I now. Roll, I yep, roll a 20. All in. Yeah, do it. Just D, roll. D20. Roll okay. a D20 right now. Yeah, I'm rolling. I am rolling. I want this. If he misses, do we lose the whole quest? No, no, we just don't win the whole quest. You think I won't end this fucking podcast? <laughs> I'll turn off the, I'll turn, this is the best joke I've ever made. Are you kidding? <laughs> Seven. Nice. No, nope. don't win mm -mm. the entire quest. You know what? I just added another part to the wand. How do you like that? Now it's the wand of eight parts. <laughs> well, cool. What, what, what's it called? Barry Manilow. Got it. <laughs> Now that you're all closer to the bookcase, you notice that it's much thicker than it needs to be. And feeling around it, you also notice that at the very top shelf, the books do not come free when you pull on them, but they click metallically like the wheels of a safe. The books are as follows. Once Upon a Time, Tales of the Fae and Their Dangers by Sally Berry, named for patron Sally Berry. Thanks, Sally. Somebody to Love. What the Hell is a Jefferson Airplane by Falcon Johe James Christopher William Boucher, named for that person who is a patron. Thank you, Falcon. <laughs> Told You Once, A Book of Wisdom for the Absent-Minded by Robin Dove Bishop, named for patron Robin Dove Bishop. Thank you, Robin. And then the last book is called Me, Myself, and a Bunch of the People in My Village, The Fondord Story by, of course, Fondord. You guys, it's, it's probably an anagram, right? I mean, it's not going to be an anic. Once upon a time. Oh, sorry. It's either by author or it's by by title. O S B T M. So that's not really an That's not really anything. All right. So the, wait, wait, wait. So we've got once upon a time is one. Somebody to love told you once. That's a one. And me, myself, and a bunch of. Okay, never mind. I thought I had something there. Oh, yeah. I, I see what you were going for. Don't forget the password is what it was. Yeah, and what did it, did it? Heath turned it over, and I don't remember if it said anything else. Did you not write that in your notes next to your family? <laughs> <laughs> I did not. I'm going to copy paste this into my notes so I can actually put it with spaces like, that help. With spaces yeah. that help, yeah. God damn it! Can you, can you put that into the text when you do that? I I will. I will actually be doing that when I when I do that. Okay. Thank you. It's like there's no intelligent design whatsoever in this universe. <laughs> Wait. Falcon <laughs> Joey James Christopher William Butcher? That's a full fucking name? That is that patron's name, yes. Okay. And we thank them. And we thank them. We love you. All right. Qu question while this is happening. Yeah. What is the mechanic for putting in the password? Is it pulling a book one at a time? Is that what the impression you guys get? Yeah. It, or maybe changing the order of them. Oh. I don't think they, they don't come, come out, all the way yeah. out, though. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah, they like click when you pull them. Yeah, we pull them. So it's a combination. Okay, so could we out of order spell anything with like first letters? My other thought was maybe Spells Tom's. I mean, you could get most out of it, right? Yeah, most or Tom's. Um, um, and for last names, we have B B B D. So never mind. Our son doing the alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, he put pretty big titles. So I feel like the first letter is 
actually not the thing now that I think about it. Oh, sure. No, probably not. Otherwise, you would have just put shorter titles. It's got to be something with like all those words. Was there anything else in the room that we can remember that he said? There's the there's the statues that shoot eye b- laser beams that. Oh no no in the um the one with Gladys the one where we talked oh, to there, Gladys. Oh yeah, the mirror and that that had the swords on the walls right. Yeah, and she talked about a fiend that she didn't know anything about. Who is a dragon? We now know. Who is a dragon, and. There was a piece of paper that said, don't forget the password. That was what it said on the back? What the hell is a Jefferson airplane? <laughs> and that was Murloc Gnomes who wrote that. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Ooh, White Rabbit. What's, is there something with that? No. Starship. Jefferson Star. They were, they were called that at some point. Ooh. That's not helpful. And then they were just called Starship. And then they were just called Starship also. Also, yes. I can't think of how that's helpful. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Me, myself, and a bunch of the people in my village. Me, myself, and Irene. Irene, good night. Good night, moon. Mo- this is nonsense. <laughs> this isn't helpful. I. The bookcase opens up. No, no, no. All right. Somebody. All right. What about the number of letters in the first word, for oh, example? Oh, there you go. So four. And then eight, and then four, and then two. We don't even know what we're looking for. Though, right? We're looking for, I think, an order to pull each of these books out. Like, yeah. one, two, three, four, three, two, one, four, whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that's what we're looking for. So, right? Or, or, or is there something else that we could be looking for? Mm, yeah. There's lit- the the whole bookshelf is four books on the top row and empty otherwise. Right. And they click like the wheels of a safe when you pull them. Yeah. Okay. So wheel of a safe, I'm thinking four digit code, but that could go like each of those numbers could go up to something pretty big on most dialy safes, right? Can we set numbers on these? I mean, is is it just like an on off thing or are there like multiple positions that can yeah, you, you pull it out, it clicks, you push it in, it unclicks, un-clicks right? Okay, that's fine. Can you pull two at a time or no? Uh, No. All right, I want to pull the third book and then the first book and then the second book and then the fourth book. Nothing happens. All right. I like that you went through on four, two. That's pi rounded to the nearest thousand. Is there anything about the fireplace? Can we do like an investigation on just the general? Yeah, do an investigation. I'll do like an investigation of like the general, like, you know, if we can see. I mean, we're way closer now because like we were on the other side of the room last time. Yeah. See if we can like see anything that's like, you know, mark of something like fingerprints on like a, a safe or something where you kind of like on a number pad, something like that. Yeah. Roll an investigation check. Oh, not good on me. Six. Yeah. You find fire. You grab a, a bunch of fire with your bare hands. <laughs> And I steal the fire and I put it in my notes. Hmm. I will also do an investigation. Great idea. Yeah, I'm slowly doing the same thing. <laughs> I didn't didn't do great with my investigation check. So I have a I just have the instinct that Fuck yeah, fifteen. I went sixteen. You got sixteen. You know what? Go for it. I would like to investigate sixteen, Lee. What do you have an instinct about? Tell us your instinct first. Tell me what I investigate first. Tell me your instinct first. That's not that's not <laughs> okay. how the game works. <laughs> you go first. My instinct, <laughs> it works however it happens. I <laughs> so uh my my instinct tells me that if I kind of focus up and you know just but also relax my mind at the same time, which is nonsense, it's going to get me the answer. Okay. That was your instinct, really? That was your instinct? Yeah, I'm a dragon. Okay, well, with that 16, I will tell you, Dave, you notice in teeny tiny letters carved on the side of the fireplace, one word, and that word is all-star. Smash mouth, (laughs) smash mouth all-star. It's smash mouth, it's something with that. Or hey no. I punch myself in the mouth. What? (laughs) What are you (laughs) doing? Smash mouth. Somebody is the first one. Somebody <laughs> once told me. Okay, nice. so it's, yeah, you it's got it. two, one, three, four. <laughs> Bridget, that's brilliant. 
Yeah. <laughs> was that supposed to be me? That's you. You sound like that. <laughs> You're not a fucking dragon. I am a dragon. Yeah. You pull the books in that order. Yes, the first words of all of those books are in order. Somebody once told me. And the bookshelf opens up and inside you find 17 gold pieces. <laughs> and that's it. I love that you didn't give us something that was divisible by four. Yeah. And a gleaming yellow sunstone. You've got the sunstone. What do you do? Uh, leave. Leave. All right. You hurry downstairs and start to head no, out no, the we're door. Gonna, we're going to go at a normal pace. Hey, we're not, we're not hurrying. You <laughs> casually go downstairs. Stealthily. Stealthily. You stealthily, stealthily, stealthily with, casually. with normalness, start to head out the door when you're stopped by a Zaphod. <laughs> you're worried for a moment, but then you realize that one of the heads on this Zaphod is Dave's dad. That said, your comfort doesn't last long because he pulls you all into a nearby hallway and says, hey, Dave. Yeah. Did you uh, see your mom up there, kiddo? I don't remember. No. He doesn't really know who his mom is most of the time. So, uh, uh, yeah. Guys, did no. we see mom? I, I feel like we saw her in the kitchen like way long ago, right? We were the only, sir, uh, only servants cleaning up there. All right. That's what I'm worried about because Lord Cress, uh, apparently he came in earlier and he... Uh, Stormed in the kitchen, he grabbed her, he took her to the throne room, but then they both disappeared. Nobody's seen hide nor hair of her since. Champ, you you gotta find her. She could be in real trouble. All right, well, we have the sunstone, so I feel like this is a Dave problem, right? I, <laughs> I feel like this is a my mom problem. <laughs> Tight. So we leave then. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Where, where do you think she's gone? Let's go to the throne room, Dave, and get your fucking mom. You guys want to save my mom or? Yeah, should we vote on it? <laughs> I mean, she's okay. <laughs> she was old anyway. I mean, how much longer? You know, you're not going to get a fucking trophy for this. <laughs> yeah, all right. But, uh... Okay, we'll go to the throne room and... Gah! Wait, should we keep the sunstone, send it home with the dad? Keep it. Keep it? Okay. Uh, put it in the wand. Wait, yeah, so Eli, with the sunstone, with the other parts of the wand of seven parts, I or wand of eight parts, we're going there. <laughs> I got a new power or a new spell with it. Do I get a new power with the sunstone? You do, yeah. You're clicking it into the wand? Yeah, I, I feel like we got to click into the wand, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can it be removed once it's put into the wand? Uh, no. It should be the wand of many parts at this point. The wand of indeterminate parts. Of parts, etc. <laughs> You're saying she's like in her 80s, probably going to be in COVID. <laughs> what? She's not in her 80s. <laughs> this could just work itself out in payroll and we take off. Yeah, so you now have the spell Sunbeam. That sounds like a wussy spell. I just... Yeah, we'll learn about that uh, the first time you use it. Not against vampires. Okay, yeah, against vampires. That seems like it'd be pretty good. Mm. Right? All right, so I don't know what it is until I use it. That's, That's great. Right. That's the best kind of spell. <laughs> <laughs> use it now. <laughs> we have to try it at some point, right? <laughs> All right. So we don't. So let's ask him where the throne room is. You're right next to it, where he's pulled you. Oh. Yeah, it's the, the one that was to the left of the stairs when we came down them. Wow, that's a hell of a memory that you've got. At least at where the camera was placed when I... Dad, do you know anything about this new fiend guy who replaced Gladys? No idea. No idea. Do you have a different voice now? Yep, I fixed it. Don't worry. <laughs> Were you doing a voice for that? Yeah, it no, sounded was... a little bit like a poga paga corn, I know. No, it was problematic. It's weird because it's all I have in my notes is fancy, and this month it's turning into... The fucking, oh, wow, guy. Yeah, it's like somewhere <laughs> between Gladys. Christopher Walken? Christopher <laughs> Walken, yeah. It's yeah. getting a little walkin uh, if I'm not careful. It's supposed to be fancy, but it's, for some reason, it's just getting walkin this month. Wow. I have no control over it. All right. You pass through the looming doors at the back of the waiting room to the empty throne room behind it. It's quiet and unused in here, as though the Darkmoors have not felt the need to take audience with their vassals for a long, long time. Empty pews sit to either side of a tight center aisle, and at the front of the room stands a dark wooden throne. Sunbeam it. Nobody's there? Nobody's in here, no. All right, sunbeam the throne, right? I'm doing an investigation. 
because I'm crushing it. Do an investigation <laughs> check. Oh. Fuck yeah. This is where it all starts to turn. <laughs> I shouldn't have said crushing it. I'm going to roll I'm going to take a bathroom break while <laughs> yeah, I... Yeah, I was going to say, Anna, roll. if you want to take a long, painful shit, <laughs> Dave will have rolled his <laughs> dice. But 13, I investigated pretty good. Mm, no. What? I'm going to investigate. Quickly. 23. 23. All right. With a 23, you can see the like drapery behind the throne is fluttering as though there's air moving it. Sunbeam it. So, why, why is like, no, I don't. We could just go there. You, you got to just use the sunbeam. We could just walk into It's like there's obviously a secret passage where he took Dave's mom. We don't need a sunbeam for that. We could shoot a blunderbuss through it first. I mean, I there's the all kinds of shit we could do. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna like check and see if there's a Andy Dufresne passage back. And there. indeed there is an Andy Dufresne passageway. As you descend the steps to the basement, all of you get a very, very bad feeling in the pet of your stomachs. In fact, you is would that because the steps are full of shit. What? Like they're like they're fake again, like right? Like Andy Dufresne? Oh, okay. Oh. I thought you were just like, this fucking D&D adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Are these steps fucking assholes? Any so of these motherfucking all. ghosts ever fucking shit themselves? <laughs> <laughs> what did I miss? Uh, Snedrick found a secret passageway behind the throne. Oh, delightful. Let's yeah. do it. And it is not filled with human feces. Yes. Oh. Also, I fired a blunderbuss really <laughs> or badly. ghost yeah. feces? Not even close to what I was trying to hit. Did you blunderbuss it? No. No, I did not. I kind of hurt my hand. Yeah. Good. At the base of the stairs stands a set of large stone doors, intricately carved with images of fire, demons, and the damned. There are no handles on these doors, but there is a poem carved above them that reads, I am hungry, though I am rich. Follow me and know my wisdom. I am armored, but I wear nothing. My breath brings death, not life. It's a dragon. Yeah, it feels pretty dragony. Yeah. Dragon. As you say the word dragon, the Fuck. stone doors swing open and you see that Darkmoor Castle is built on a giant underground cave that stretches out and down into the darkness with no end that you can see. 50 feet above your head where the castle floor begins is a ceiling of stalactites, but directly on either side of the door is a small circular platform, maybe 25 feet in diameter. At its edge sits a sacrificial altar with Dave's mom tied to it, and over her stand Cress Darkmoor and Murloc Gnomes. As you walk through the doors, Lord Cress turns to you and says to Murloc, well, 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 Mr. Gnomes, you were right that they would follow us here to find the Dragonborn's mother. I didn't even really want to, but they said we kind of had to. <laughs> <laughs> he was forced. I will give him that. Mm. Really gross. <laughs> <laughs> she's kind of mean, though, right? Like, kind of no, mean. No, she's been nothing but nice to you. Yeah, typical. Listen to the podcast, dick. <laughs> <laughs> How they get you. <laughs> well, fuck. All right, are we rolling initiative here or what? Oh, sorry. I thought you guys would want to do some sassy back and forth. Yes, prepare to die, everybody. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Roll you. initiative for me. Were you waiting for something or? I was, I, I wanted to give another person a chance to jump, jump in, oh, okay. but she jumped in really. She went, wait, wait. And I was like, oh, okay. But she was like, what are we doing? And I was like, ah, it's all fine. It's fine. We're all on the same page now. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. All right. So we're, we're recording now. Yeah. Me and Anna agreed to get a divorce right before this recording. Oh my sorry, God. I should have okay. probably should have told cut. you guys. Let's we, do I that fight like, cut. Okay. Why don't we get that fight cut? Why don't we get that fight cut? Probably a good call. The preceding podcast was a production of Puzzle and a Thunderstorm, LLC. Copyright 2022. All rights reserved.